On October 19, 2017, suddenly, an interstellar object entered our solar system, whose trajectory was very strange. Scientists were amazed to see it, initially thinking it might be a wandering comet, but its behavior and shape were even more bizarre, puzzling scientists. Many scientists thought it might be an alien ship from an advanced civilization that had suddenly entered our solar system. I am talking about the year 2017 when an extraterrestrial object, or let's say an alien ship, Oumuamua, which has now left our solar system. But as long as it was within our boundary, every Earth inhabitant was astonished by it. The appearance of this interstellar object led scientists to believe that they had solved the most mysterious puzzle, Fermi Paradox. But as much as we were excited about having an alien encounter and exploration, even today, we haven't been able to understand it beyond 0.1. Even after discovering billions of galaxies and billions of stars and planets in them, the universe still seems completely empty. We only see our own achievements and our own success. No one appears in sight from far away. Why is that? Will we ever meet aliens? Will a spaceship like Oumuamua ever enter our solar system again? Let's watch this video to understand all these things and to understand the most dangerous mystery of alien and advanced civilizations. In 1950, when the great scientist Enrico Fermi said that in this infinite universe, there are billions of Milky Ways, and in those Milky Ways, there are billions of stars, which have planets in their habitable zones, yet life is not visible on them. If there was life on these planets, it would have contacted the human race by now, or the human race would have found some evidence of it. But we are alone in the universe. Where are they? Where are they? This question remains unsolved till today, and gradually, it has turned into a paradox known as the Fermi Paradox. Finding aliens and being found by them is very difficult in space. We have advanced so much that even after discovering more than 5,000 exoplanets and many super-Earths, we are still empty-handed. Why is that? Let's see further through new research in this video. These are the reasons that you will understand. You will definitely lose your mind. So let's start. Imagine an advanced civilization controlling many galaxies. In such a scenario, the Milky Way galaxy is also part of that civilization which they maintain. In every galaxy, there are an average of 500 billion stars and 10 trillion planets. There are also billions of black holes from which that civilization extracts energy. In such a scenario, only one out of 10 trillion planets in a galaxy matters to them the most. If only 10 planets out of those planets, which are around black holes, matter to them, then only a trillion planets matter to them. And a small planet like Earth is considered as insignificant as a grain of sand for that civilization. In such a scenario, our civilization does not matter to them at all. We will only wait for our turn, and one day, we will also be thrown into a black hole. We will not even know the time for that. For an advanced civilization, planets like Earth do not matter. Our civilization cannot make any difference to them. We can only draw their attention towards us when we become more advanced and start traveling in the universe. If we become a Type 2 civilization and start using the energy of many stars, then the attention of that civilization will come towards us. And maybe for the first time, aliens will come to Earth and contact us. Otherwise, until we become advanced, no one will be visible to anyone, and the universe will look completely empty for us. Understand this scenario as if you have the complete reign of a jungle. There are many types of animals present there, which you see. There are huge animals in the jungle, which are very powerful and are important for you. You also keep an eye on other animals that can harm you. But there are many creatures in this jungle that are very small in size, which you cannot see. If any of these creatures dies, or its entire small colony is destroyed, or if it is crushed under your foot, then you may not pay attention to it. You will probably never know that there is such a creature that lives in this jungle. The entire life of these creatures is equivalent to one of your days. In this scenario, you may never know about them. Similarly, an advanced civilization that controls many galaxies considers billions of stars and planets under its control. 
they do not know when life emerges and when it ends on those planets. And even that civilization is unaware of the existence of that civilization living on those planets. Here, the concept of time is also different. Until civilization flourishes and ends on these planets, only a few years of an advanced civilization pass. For this reason, many scientists believe that due to a time and technological gap, neither aliens can see us nor can we know about their presence. On a cosmic scale, where the universe has been around for 14 billion years, the time of human civilization is only a few seconds. But scientists believe that even though we do not matter to an advanced civilization, we can still draw their attention only when we become more advanced and start moving around in the universe. If we start using the energy of many stars by becoming type 2, then the attention of civilization will come towards us. And it is possible that for the first time, aliens will come to Earth and contact us. Otherwise, until we become advanced, no one will be visible to anyone, and this universe will look completely empty for us. The evidence or its presence can be searched for. In 2022, scientists proposed a new theory to solve the Fermi paradox. They believed that advanced civilizations leave many signs of their presence, which we can detect. These signs could also exist on Earth or on other planets or moons in our solar system. Since our solar system is 5 billion years old, if an alien civilization were to form after the universe was created, it's possible that after 14 billion years, it may have ended. In that case, remnants of the civilization could still exist today. Spacecraft left by them could still be drifting like the Voyager probes, which could travel to any solar system or even to our own solar system and planets. NASA believes that the moon of Saturn, Enceladus, which is completely surrounded by ice, could support alien life. It's not necessary for aliens to be here in advanced form. Single-cell organisms may already exist on Earth. Similarly, a single-cell organism could exist here, gradually evolving into alien life. If research is conducted on this, we could learn a lot. We might be able to understand the formation of life, which is the biggest mystery of science to date. In addition to this, we can also understand the presence of aliens through signals. If a civilization exists nearby and is many light years away from Earth, its signals could reach Earth today or in the future. NASA and SETI have sent signals up to 25,000 light years away from human civilization and have also provided their location with the help of pulse. Similarly, aliens could easily know our location through their technology. In the same way, we can also read signals from alien civilizations. If any evidence of a civilization can survive for billions of years, it will be their signals. Because everything else can end, and signals traveling at the speed of light can still be received in the universe after billions of years. So let's say a type of 3 civilization that only rules one galaxy sends a signal a billion years ago, we could still receive that signal today. When we decode it, we'll know that the civilization we're seeing ended a billion years ago, and the entire galaxy has also changed its shape. With the help of this signal, we can see the destruction of that civilization by looking at that galaxy through our telescopes. However, we will only be able to confirm its presence, we won't be able to reply to that signal or see that civilization at a technological level. According to scientists, if we receive such a signal and if it's clear, we'll need to build a very large radio telescope in space to avoid interference from Earth's atmosphere or satellites. And we'll only be able to do this when we become a Type 1 civilization and can use all the energy of Earth. At that time, resources will also be available to human civilization and advanced telescopes will be able to detect alien civilizations or their remnants. It will take us 600 to 1000 years to become a Type 1 civilization and only then can we search for aliens. The time frame for discovering aliens needs to be perfect as time passes and the universe continues to expand, our reach is decreasing. Currently, human civilization can only access the local group. The local group consists of 54 galaxies bound by gravity. The galaxies beyond this group are constantly moving away from us. Even if we become a type 1 civilization, we won't be able to reach these galaxies. 
In the future, human civilization will only be able to reach the local group. Beyond this group, we will forget about the galaxies for eternity. They will be so far away that even advanced human civilization will not be able to reach them in millions of years. However, if there is an alien civilization in our local group, it will definitely search for human civilization. And if not, then human civilization will wander alone in the universe for eternity and the Fermi paradox will never be solved. The expansion of the universe, which is constantly accelerating, is the biggest obstacle between alien civilizations and human civilizations. Dark energy causes light speed to become the slowest speed in this expansion. There will come a time when our universe will expand so much that no civilization will survive. Atomic distances will change to galactic distances. Every star and planet will move so far away from each other that they will find themselves alone in the entire universe. Just thinking about it is both exciting and terrifying. In the field of astronomy, the Fermi paradox is very strange in itself. Despite billions of trillions of stars and planets, we still haven't met aliens. It's mind-boggling to think about it. But nothing is impossible in space. The aliens we haven't been able to find yet in the future, when we become advanced enough, maybe at that time we'll discover many alien planets and civilizations and create a galactic world. Just thinking about having access to the entire galaxy of human civilization is amazing. Friends, this is all that